Hello guys, you are seeing back with another video of Katia V5 and in this video I will show you what's the difference between trim and split feature in generative shape design. So let's get started. So first of all, a lot of people have issue between differentiating what exactly trim and split features are because both of them, the icon looks very similar and also the use sometimes can be non-differentiable if you are using relatively in big physical surfaces or part design. So the main difference is that the trim feature can be used with any plane reference surface whereas for uh, sorry for a split you can use with respect to any plane reference surface whereas the trim you would definitely need both of the surfaces to be physically in contact to make this operation or feature activate. So what I mean by that is, so let's say if I make a sketch, all right, so let's say I just make a spline, a random spline anywhere. And I say that, okay, this is the spline that I want to have along with, I'm going to make it an extrusion of it to have a surface around. Just as an example, so now let's say that if I want to use any one of these features, let's say if I want to use split, I'm going to offset and offset a plane that I know is going to intersect or interfere somewhere. So now this plane can be used to cut the surface into two different pieces, or it can be also used to el eliminate one of these with respect to which part would I choose to keep. For that feature, I will use split. So split will basically split the surface with respect to the plane into two different parts or whatever the number of parts can be cut or eliminated. So it says element to cut. In this case, that's going to be the surface and cutting element is going to be the plane itself. So you see, once I clicked it, automatically it's showing me that, okay, if I do the desired operation, then this part will be eliminated whereas this will be kept. If I don't want to keep this particular part but I but I do want to keep this one then I will simply click on other side and it will choose the other side and simply I can click OK and then or I also have an option to keep both sides so let's say if I just want to keep both sides but I just want to differentiate between where they will be intersected. So I will now have Two different surfaces out of one which I can individually use it later on whenever I want. So this is what splits look like. So now in this case let's say if I want to use if there is one surface I'm just going to control Z for now. So now this is one surface once again. So instead of split I decide to use trim. Let's see Will it let me use with just a plane? So let's say I select this surface, which is going to be my trimmed element, and the second one is going to show me that okay, the result is infinite. It says at least modify trim options or extreme options to create finite geometry. So what it means is basically it's not able to decide where this plane is going to specifically trim out this surface. That's why this is called trim, not split. Split will simply break the piece into two or different parts wherever it intersects. Whereas trim is going to actually require the two parts to be interfering with each other and they will eliminate the common part out. So how it works is, instead of just having a plane, I would actually need to make another sketch in such a way that it should be interfering with the first one. So let's say if I make a rectangle here somehow that I know is definitely interfering if I look from this side I'm going to fill this up using fill command and I click OK. So now I know that these two are interfering at somewhere at this portion. So now if I use to use trim command then I can simply choose that okay I want to trim these two surfaces and see it automatically started showing me that what are the outputs. So if I try to trim these two, one output is going to be that, okay, 
I will have either one of these two and I will eliminate the other two or I can do one side or one element and choose to keep this one or vice versa. Whichever way it works, but the, both the surfaces, wherever I, wherever they intersect, we will have an option to choose from which one do we want to get eliminated. It could be any one of those. It could be any one of these. So, also if I want to have the intersection computation where both of them will intersect the surface and how much they will intersect, I can preview it and click OK. You will see that this line right here represents the intersection computation that is saying that this particular surface that we intersected is going to intersect from here till here which is quite visible as well that we can simply see that what actually the difference is it's very visual and that's how the trim function works so that's basically the difference as i just showed you the split is basically going to break one part into two whereas trim is actually going to chop it off into two different pieces if necessary so thank you so much for watching and if you want these kind of videos to be upcoming more and more. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye.